Madam Marcos's address in Japanese. I accept this prize on behalf of President Marcos and the people of the Philippines who are seeking for the realization of peace in the world. Romualdez Marcos, First Lady of the Republic of the Philippines, has been chosen as the recipient of the 8th Kajima Peace Award. The presentation ceremony was launched by a speech by President Dr. Morinosuke Kajima in the presence of their Imperial Highnesses, Prince and Princess Takamatsu. Peace Award presentation just opened. ご来日の閣議本日はご対応中のところ閣毛多数皆さんのお祈りをいただき昭和50年度の大発会始まり平和省の贈呈式を挙行することとなりましたことは私の最も光栄とするところでございます Madam Imelda Romualdez Marcos, Your Imperial Highnesses, Prince Takamatsu, Princess Takamatsu, Madam Niki, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to have the presentation ceremony of the 8th Kajima Peace Award 
for 1975 in the presence of so many distinguished guests. Thank you very much for taking time from your very busy schedules to attend this ceremony. The President recalls that the Kajima Institute of International Peace was established with the authorization of the Minister for Foreign Affairs in 1966. Since its establishment nine years ago, the Kajima Institute of International Peace has presented the Kajima Peace Award to eight persons. The President then introduced to the guests the previous recipients of the Kajima Peace Award who had contributed to the promotion of world peace. The first to receive the award was Count Richard Kudenhof Kalergi, the advocate of the pan-European movement. The second was Mrs. Kaoru Hatoyama, widow of the late Ichiro Hatoyama, former Prime Minister of Japan. The third award went to Mr. Hubert H. Humphrey, former Vice President of the United States, and Mr. William Benton, former U.S. Senator. The fourth award was presented to the late Mr. Naotake Sato, former Foreign Minister and President of the House of Councillors of Japan. The fifth award was given to Sri Sultan Hamengku Buono IX of Indonesia. The sixth award was presented to Mr. Walter Scheel, then Foreign Minister and now President of the Federal Republic of Germany. The seventh award was given to the late Mr. Eisaku Sato, former Prime Minister of Japan and recipient of the Nobel Peace Prize. The recipient of the Kajima Peace Award for 1975 is Madame Imelda Romualdez Marcos, First Lady of the Republic of the Philippines. She first came to Japan with President Marcos in October 1966, when the latter paid a state visit to this country. Later, she paid her second visit in June 1970 as the Philippine delegate to the World Exposition held in Osaka that year. Therefore, she has become a familiar figure to the Japanese people. When it was learned that she was to stop in Japan on her way to Mexico, where she is to attend the World Congress for International Women's Year 1975, starting on June the 19th, the Kajima Institute of International Peace decided to take this as an excellent opportunity to present her with the Peace Award. Madame Romualdez Marcos was born in July 1931 to the Romualdez family, an old family of the province of Leyte of the Philippines. The family is famous for having produced many distinguished citizens of that country including a Speaker of the House of Representatives, a Supreme Court Justice, a member of the Cabinet, an Ambassador, as well as Mayor of Manila and Governor of Leyte. Madame Marcos' father himself, a noted lawyer, served as Dean of the School of Law at St. Paul University. <laughs> Having been born to a family of such high distinction and brought up in its finest tradition, Madame Marcos is gifted with high intelligence. She's said to be especially talented in music. She's also been noted for her great beauty from early childhood. After her marriage with Mr. Marcos in 1954, who was then a member of the Philippine House of Representatives, Madame Marcos assisted her husband very actively in his political career. She worked very hard for him in the presidential elections of 1965 and 1969, and her help was a significant element in his success. As is well known, Madame Marcos's activities cover very wide fields, politics, social work, cultural development, and so on. In the area of external relations, Madame Marcos has been the President's better half in a most real sense, and of invaluable assistance in bringing about mutual understanding among nations and in establishing friendly relations with many countries of both the East and the West.
As the international position of the Republic of the Philippines rises in the years ahead, Madame Marcos's influence, we are sure, will grow more and more. Her visit to the People's Republic of China in September last year demonstrated triumphantly the diplomatic role which a lady of Madame Marcos's intelligence and natural charm can play in a special capacity in overcoming the abnormal circumstances between the Philippines and her host country. We can be assured that she will achieve even more success in smoothing out abnormal and difficult international relationships and paving the way to world peace in the future. And we are most happy to note that the relations between the Philippines and Japan have rapidly improved since President Marcos's assumption of his post, as seen in the successful ratification by the Philippines of the Japan-Philippine Treaty of Amity, Trade and Navigation in January 1974, which had been so long pending. We can well imagine that Madame Marcos exerted her inestimable influence behind the scenes for this rapid amelioration in the relations between our two countries. The Board of Directors of the Kajima Institute of International Peace, therefore, unanimously decided to present Madame Marcos First Lady of the Republic of the Philippines with the 8th Kajima Peace Award in recognition of her past achievements for the advancement of international peace and also in the firm belief that she will continue to make her valuable contributions to world peace in the years ahead. Now I have the pleasure to read the diploma of the 8th Kajima Peace Award. Her Excellency Madame Mimelda Romualdez Marcos, First Lady of the Republic of the Philippines. Your Excellency, through your many activities in assisting your distinguished husband, President Marcos, has earned a well-known world reputation, not only for your brilliant achievements in the domestic administration of your country, but also for your great contributions to the establishment of international peace by promoting friendly relations between the countries of the East and of the West. The world has entered into an era of multipolarization and is confronted with various kinds of challenges. It is with ardent hope that all people await more than ever the service and leadership of persons like your good self who have a deep understanding of humanity and a strong enthusiasm for peace. Having valued highly your achievements in the past and expecting further contributions by Your Excellency to the establishment of world peace in the future, the Kajima Institute of International Peace has, by unanimous vote of its Board of Directors, the honor to present Your Excellency with the Kajima Peace Award for 1975. June the 16th, 1975. Morinosuke Kajima, LLD, President, Kajima Institute of International Peace. Madam Marcos expressing her gratitude for the award. Your Imperial Highnesses, Prince and Princess Takamatsu, 
Mr. Kajima, Madam Miki, Ministers of the Japanese Government, Your Excellencies, members of the Diplomatic Corps, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Madam Marcos's address in Japanese. I accept this prize on behalf of President Marcos and the people of the Philippines who are seeking for the realization of peace in the world. My friends, with humility and gratitude, I accept this honor on behalf of President Marcos and the Filipino people whose instrument I have been privileged to be in my people's search for the tranquility and peace of my country and the world at large so urgently needs. I wish that I did not have to accept this honor. I wish that the Kajima Peace Prize did not have to exist, for that would mean that peace in our world has at last been achieved. But the Kajima Peace Prize exists. It exists because man continues to be at war with himself. It is an ancient wisdom that man must change if they aim to enjoy the blessings of their universe, where there will be neither victors nor losers, victims nor predators, where only humanity prevails. But time and again, this wise advice has been ignored by governments, civilizations, and by man himself. Thus, empires have fallen by being deaf to the promptings of the human heart. The last empire is the empire of man. Will we not now listen to this ancient wisdom? Three decades ago, that empire had its intimations of mortality with the blaze of a million suns over Hiroshima. Perhaps it is timely for us to recall Paul Valery's warning that civilizations are mortal. The long shadow of that place remains with us a symbol of our fate. Let us consider this, reflect and contemplate. For there must be no more Hiroshima's, neither in fact nor in spirit. Let us all hope to love. Let us dare to be wise so that love and wisdom may finally be the way of man. Thank you. The audience is deeply moved by Madame Marcos's fervent address. This was followed by speeches of felicitations by guests. Miki, wife of Prime Minister Akeo Miki. Mrs. Miki, wife of the Japanese Prime Minister, congratulates Madam Marcos. A toast to Madame Marcos was led by former Prime Minister Nobusuke Kishi, who is currently President of the Philippine Society of Japan.
with beautiful Madame Marcos as the centre of attraction, the party continued with all participants in a convivial mood. Marcos departed from Japan on the following day, June the 17th, to Mexico, where she was to attend the International Women's Year Conference. This was her first engagement after receiving the award. Madame Marcos, the beautiful recipient of the Kajima Peace Award, is noted for her humanity as well as social activities. She will no doubt contribute immensely to the promotion of world peace through the political life and foreign diplomacy of the Philippines. Let us all hope to love. Let us all hope to love. Let us dare to be wise. Let us dare to be wise, so that love and wisdom may finally be the way of man. The way of man. Thank you for watching our videos. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you will be notified of our latest videos. And please do like and share all our videos. Maraming salamat po. And for more information, you can visit our website at bagunglipunan.com. You can also follow us on Twitter and TikTok at bagunglipunan72. And just a note, our Facebook page has been censored by the yellow fact checkers. That's why you can't see most of our posts on your news feeds. So for updates, directly visit our Facebook page, facebook.com slash bagunglipunan72. And please do like all our posts and share them. And please join our Marcos Loyalist organization at marcosloyalist.org. Let's make Philippines great again. Marcos Parin.